In this video, we are going to explore three important types of industrial fires jet fire, pool fire, and flash fire with practical examples. Let's consider there is a sphere in a tank form area and the sphere is inside a tank. Now, if there is a leakage from the sphere, as the liquid inside the sphere is in pressurized con condition, a small hole or leakage would create a jet of liquid. Now, if this liquid gets ignited in the flow, then it will create a fire. This is known as jet fire. Similarly, in the same vessel, if the leakage gets content within the dike or a, some area, and during the leakage, it does not ignite, and it's accumulated to create a pool of flammable liquid, and later on, it's get ignited to create fire. This kind of fire is called as pool fire. Similarly, for the same sphere, if the, the leakage is through a small hole and it disperses in the air and create a air and flammable gas mixture in the form of the vapor cloud and that particular vapor cloud ignites, it creates a fire that is called a flash fire. Now discuss each of this item in greater detail. First, jet fire. Imagine a powerful garden hose spraying water at high speed. If the water were replaced with a flammable liquid and ignited, the result would be a jet fire. Jet fire occurs when flammable substances are ejected through a small opening and ignite. The flame produced is long and narrow, similar to how water from the hose extend outwards. In calm air, the flame remains upright. But if there is a wind, the flame can tilt and stretch beyond the original boundary, like how the water stream from the hose bends with the wind. If the fire can extend up to 50 meters or more and pose severe hazards. For example, in the Piper Alpha oil platform disaster in 1988 involved jet flames from a gas riser and that led to a catastrophic damage and loss of life. Managing these fires is challenging due to their intense heat and large reach. Now, pool fire. You can think of puddle of gasoline on the ground that suddenly ignites. This is similar to a pool fire. Pool fire happens when a flammable liquid spills and ignites, creating a stationary flame over the liquid. The flame forms a shape that is often circular or rectangular, just like how the puddle shape determines the fire's outline. In the burn, which is a containment area designed to catch the spills, the fire shape is usually cylindrical. Imagine a burning ring of gasoline. If there is a wind, the flame can tilt and drag beyond the ring, similar to how wind can blow smoke from a campfire. An example of devastating pool fire is that of the Cleveland, Ohio incident in 1944, where a large amount of LNG ignited, causing a widespread fires and numerous casualties. Now, flash fire. Now, picture a room filled with flammable vapors. If someone lights a match 
the entire room could burst into flames almost instantaneously. This is what happens in a flash fire. Flash fire occurs when a cloud of flammable vapor mixes with air and ignites. Unlike a jet fire, a flash fire does not create significant overpressure situation. The fire burns with a stationary flame and causes severe burns and rapid oxygen depletion. Think of it like a sudden intense burst of flames without an explosion. So this is the difference between the flash fire and vapor cloud explosion. In vapor cloud explosion, there will be overpressure scenario and there will be an explosion. But for the flash fire, there is no explosion, only fire. Flash fire is very common in industries like petrochemicals, refineries, compressor station. Flash fire ranges from 550 degree centigrade to 150 degree centigrade with potential to melt uh, the structures and clothings. The Port Newark fire in 1951 and Mexico City fire in 1984 are two notable examples of flash fires. In summary, jet fire, pool fire and flash fires each present a unique challenge and hazards. Jet fires are like high speed liquid stream on fire, pool fire resemble ignited puddles and flash fires are sudden burst of flames in vapor filled environment. By understanding these fire types and their behaviors, we can better prepare and implement safety measures to prevent such disaster.